Hey guys, this is Austin. Every year at CES, we see a lot of tech in cars, but no one really does it better than Toyota. So when Toyota reached out and offered to sponsor a look at what they've got at the show, I couldn't say no. The biggest, shiniest new toy is known as the TRI P4. This is developed by Toyota's Research Institute and is built around the Lexus LS500H. Unlike most autonomous vehicles, this actually looks cool. Yeah, I know it's a revolutionary concept. It's still heavily modified with things like LiDAR, camera, radar, and much more. But the most important thing is that Toyota is actually taking two approaches here. Their Guardian Tech is about making driving safer with the person behind the wheel, whereas Chauffeur is all about full autonomy in almost any scenario. Now this is a big deal, right? Autonomous vehicles are not ready for the mainstream just yet. There's still a lot of work to do to bring fully driverless cars to the mainstream. But Toyota is such a huge company and they span across so many areas that it's really interesting to take a look at some of their other investments. I got the chance to co-host the Toyota Untold podcast recently to get a better idea of how this all plays out. Yeah, so Toyota AI Ventures is Toyota's first dedicated venture capital fund. And it's focused on investing in early stage companies that are focusing on artificial intelligence, data as applied to autonomous mobility and robotics. Many of the startups are defining what mobility means. And so we are investing in those companies that are defining mobility. Another cool company here is May Mobility. Now this is actually a company who has autonomous vehicles on the road right now in Detroit as well as Columbus. And this is their next generation vehicle. So this is a version that would have absolutely no driver. So as you can see in the front seat, I'm actually facing back toward other passengers. And as it has all these different sensors and as the technology develops, you can imagine a fully autonomous version of this vehicle. Unlike a lot of the vehicle stuff here at CES, May Mobility actually has these on the streets right now. So it is a slightly different version and it does have a driver, so in case there's any kind of issues. But the idea is that this is the final format of what it will become hopefully in the next few years. Something you don't exactly see every day is a hydrogen powered truck. So this is Project Portal. It's a collaboration between Kenworth and Toyota. And it's a, uh, well, let's just take a look. Not quite like any truck you've seen, or that I've seen. This is where the magic happens. There are six carbon fiber hydrogen tanks, which are enough to use the electric motor right behind it to pull a ton of cargo. This is actually more powerful than a standard diesel truck. So now I get to uh, explore the truck. It's maybe a questionable idea, but I've actually never been inside one of these before. This is really cool. So what's interesting about this is that the truck chassis itself is not that different from a lot of others, but there's a lot of special bespoke parts for this one. For example, there's a Mirai shifter here because why not? What's cool about this is that it actually is a proper truck too. There is a full 300 miles of range. And right now the prototype is actually at the port of LA bringing cargo back and forth all day. So it's actually a really interesting idea of getting away from a standard electric or standard sort of diesel truck into something that's just a little bit more high tech. By a little, I mean a lot. Hydrogen's pretty cool. The days of a car company that just makes cars that will get you from point A to point B are quickly ending. Technology is rapidly changing things, alternative fuels are rapidly changing things, and the idea that you don't actually have to drive your car is a big, big selling point. So it is super interesting to see just how Toyota is taking advantage of this and really becoming an all new company. 